The men of telenovela sure are looking good, and Cody will be back soon to introduce us to our final Latin hunk. But right now, Hollywood under the knife with Glee's Heather Morris and Sharon Osbourne. They are just two of the countless stars who had breast enhancement surgery. But why did they later have their implants removed? The answer as we investigate more plastic surgery nightmares. Actress Mariel Hemingway regrets getting her implants. The silicone breast augmentation sent her into a health crisis, which could ultimately have cost her her life. I actually had um, silicone in my blood. Mariel underwent breast augmentation surgery for the role of playmate Dorothy Stratton in 1983's Star 80. It was a popular enhancement copied by many actresses in the 80s. When the leak was discovered a decade later, she had them removed. I got rid of it because it was compromising my health. I don't think you put a foreign object in your body and that is made of plastic. Sharon Osbourne did, and she too suffered negative consequences. I went to a fabulous surgeon, and she said to me, that's leaking, that, that boob there is leaking, so the implant was leaking. So anyway, I went and had them taken out, and it had leaked into the wall of my stomach. Oh. oh. When Pamela Anderson wanted her implants out, she discovered her own plastic surgery nightmare. When I did remove them, when they found a, a leak in one side, when I took them out, I had no idea anything was wrong. Stevie Nicks had her damaged implants removed after nearly 20 years, and Oscar-nominated actress Sally Kirkland after 12. It was so frightening because I could see these little crystals, these particles, all through my blood system of silicone. Recently, Glee's Heather Morris revealed she had her implants removed. Jane Fonda has done the same, while Victoria Beckham and Jenny McCarthy have opted for smaller implants. Dr. Payman Danielpour of the Beverly Hills Plastic Surgery Group says it's a growing trend. It used to be everyone wanted to look like Pamela Anderson. People don't want that anymore. They just want that natural look. But his partner, Dr. John Lakey, says leaking silicone is a major hazard. It can cause either lymph nodes to be enlarged, uh, and the disfigurement of the breast. There really is an issue of if I should remove them or not, it's when. A leaking implant is what brought 40-year-old Eddie List to doctors Lakey and Daniel Poor to correct what has gone wrong with another surgeon's work. I have a ruptured implant and um, I've got some silicone floating around. She will go smaller and replace the liquid with a safer gel implant. Are these the gel or is it liquid? These are the newer are generation gel. gel, silicone gel. So it is one so, piece inside? Yes. Chris Kardashian and Bruce Jenner share more than just a marriage. The two have been open about the work they've done to their faces.